grammatically correct. Brought to you by us, fans like you, but mostly us. How's this dude still alive? He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. It's like his muscles are made of cotati metal fibers. Stop massaging his muscles. Wake him up. In a dark corner of the world, three men will work together to bring you a podcast like no other. This is Fanatically Correct, where the fans, the geeks, and the nerds are always correct. With your host, MSK, Yo Peace, and Omega. Alrighty, well, this is going to be our 3.30 panel. We're going to be talking about the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, which is basically the films and the shows that are of the uh, canon storyline of Marvel. So we're not going to get into like all the Fox franchises or Sony franchises, any of those bad Spider-Man movies or bad Fantastic Four movies. We're not going to be doing any of that. Uh, everything that's within the 20 film storyline and I think it's about eight shows um, that are part of hey, There we go. We got Nick Fury back. So oh, boy. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's like Ninja Godzilla and whatever that is. That is cool. <laughs> that's from something. We have a few. We got like Captain America fans in the Audience, Captain America, America, Captain America. Yeah. We just got a Supergirl. Oh, yeah, we got some. We got some roll calling. We got a Raven. We got a Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel's here. So, so a vision earlier. Oh yeah, there's a little vision outside. Oh yeah, he just yeah. left. He was in the Flintstone car. So awesome. yeah, this is gonna be our Marvel panel. Um, the name of our podcast is Fanatically Correct. I'm your host Omega. Uh, that's good. Yo, peace. And uh, just a few things we always get out of the way at the beginning of our podcast, so just bear with us. It's uh, basically giving the information of where you can listen to our episodes of the podcast. Uh, you can reach us and uh, listen to us on Podbean, any pod for if you have an Echo or an Alexa. Uh, you can review us on iTunes and Google Play if you listen to us there. Uh, you can reach us at FanCorrect on Twitter and Instagram. If you go to fanaticallycorrect.com, that'll take you straight to our Podbean so you can listen to our episodes. Uh, you can also contact us on email, also fanaticallycorrect on uh, Google+. Plus. <laughs> and uh, if you want to e actually email us, it's contactfancore at gmail.com. Um, if you like, you can also FedEx us a flip phone, like at the end of <laughs> Civil War. Or uh, you can rainbow teleport the Hulk to us with a message. So we'll go with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk, mainly we'll start off with our favorite films. Um, top threes, we try to keep it, so top three from him, top three from uh, my other co-host, Yo Peace, I'm SK. Uh, so, and then it's basically a conversation, if you weren't here for earlier Doctor Who panel, you can throw stuff out, we'll engage, we'll talk, and you know, put our two cents, your two cents, everyone's, that's why it's fanatically correct, everyone's correct, that no one has a wrong opinion unless it's if Jesse Eisenberg is a good Lex Luthor then you can leave the room. That's right. uh, outside of that, That's uh, <laughs> we all actually have the same top one, so we'll probably save that for last. Yeah, we'll do three first. So we'll do our, we'll do our threes first. You want to uh, start, Yo Piece? Uh, no. Because you never I, told I, us I what your three was? was. See, three. Have you decided your three yet? I, he flip flops I, I thought I did, but... You can do an honorable mention. I don't, I don't think, I, don't think I, I have, to be honest. Well, I have an honorable mention, and I'll jump onto my three if either of you want to talk about it, and mine is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. That's your three? That's th it's almost my three. It's like I I, I just want to bring it up. I, we don't have to. Said honorable it's an honorable mention, oh, oh, but like okay. it's it's, it's right there. My actual three. Um, I'm trying to remember what I put. It's Civil War. So I want to get into. We'll start Civil with Civil War. Start with Civil War. Why not Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, go ahead. I don't know what you're no, I'll start saying. with Civil War. Civil War is my actual three, and then we'll go to honorable mention. All right. Um, that's my number three. It 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 feeds off of. I mean, it's gonna be no guess. Most likely, that's my number three or my number one's gonna end up being. Uh, but the Russo brothers, the way they do the spy genre uh, into the Marvel universe, uh, not as impacting as they did with Winter Soldier, but it still kept that tone. Uh, it's not. I mean, I know for the comic book fans, Civil War is kind of a, a letdown, disappointment in the sense that they hadn't grown the Marvel universe large enough for you to get the the Civil War that is between such a magnitude of heroes. In other words, you had it was like a hundred on a hundred when the big fight scene goes down, and you know, so there's a lot that's missed out from that. No X Men involved, no uh, you know Punisher. I mean, a lot of the you know the Punisher, a Captain America situation in the comic books is great, and you don't have any of that yet. But in reference to the characters that they did build up. 
um, it was still a good fight scene. They were able to bring in, in my opinion, Black Panther was actually a more impacting character in Civil War than it actually was in Black Panther. Uh, I, per I personally prefer that tone, uh, which is actually one of my issues with Black Panther that I wanted to see more of that spy tone from that film as well, since it was the follow-up from Civil War. But with Civil War, you get that, besides that fight sequence, there's so many small moments throughout that film. You have the Captain America Winter Soldier versus Iron Man fight. You have the main fight in the airport, like I just mentioned. You have the civilian fight when the Black Panther's fighting Winter Soldier when he's escaping, and Captain America and Black Widow, and they just they can't stop him. He's just like a rageful force once he gets you know uh, you know reprogrammed again, basically in that room. So there's a lot of great action sequence moments that build up for me in Civil War that have that high on my list uh, as top three out of twenty. We're talking twenty films now. And I just, I mean, it's, again, it's, it's a good build of a lot of moments. The storyline is great. Um, you have such a, you know, deep interaction between Iron Man and Captain America. It's not, I mean, the Accords is kind of still what the battle is about, but it's really about the Winter Soldier, you know, killing Iron Man's parents. Spoiler alert. Uh, if we're talking Marvel, if you've already seen Infinity War, you haven't seen Civil War, you're way behind. But, it, you know, it, it, that's really, it's more of a personal battle. And it's that betrayal of, you know, his old best friend is responsible for the death of the parents of his new best friend and he's covering that up and regardless of his reasoning for it um it just it drives a wedge between that team and it's 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 just well done and ant-man has his great moments i mean i love when he goes giant, giant and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know spider-man's interactions all the jokes and they, like i always say this i love the the way marvel handles comedy in their in their films first um, first appearance, appearance. Yeah. The, of the tom holland cinematic you know uh, no, I think the, the, the villain uh, zemo it was that, good he's, he's probably the Third best villain in the Marvel yeah. out of twenty out of yeah. twenty movies. Very well done. And he doesn't do the whole uh they didn't do the costume and yeah. what he looks like. They but just, uh, you he know. did a very good job and then I mean he won at the end. He was a great so, catalyst. <laughs> so then you mean that's not your third then? That is my third. That is but, your third. But, but but I flip between that and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Okay. Um for the same reason. It has its own genre of film. I actually think part two did a great job of stepping up from part one. As good as part one was, part two actually has a better villain. Um, and just, I, to me, has more impactful scenes. The comedy's even better. There's more character development because you had very little character development in the first one. Uh, but in the second one, Rocket's uh, character development, Yandu's character development, and the heartbreak uh, of what we get with Yandu. Uh, even Peter Quill and, and Gamora. I mean, everyone's at Nebula, too. I mean, just, it, they did a really good job of taking all the characters from the first film and completely reusing their style. Another great soundtrack, great dialogue. Uh, and you know, you have another very impactful death because yes, Groot died in the first one. Um, there's an argument we always no, have. Didn't. It's not reincarnation, he died in the first yeah, one. That's no, the second group. Yeah, but uh, Yandu's death is just as impacting, and he was a villain pretty much in the first film. And in the second one, he regrows, and you actually feel you know, you feel that loss. And uh, it's it's well done, and that's what. So yes, Civil War is my third, but it's Guardian Galaxy Volume Two, right? Is right there. Right, for so me. you're that's your third. Yeah, which one's <laughs> your third? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, my third would be Doctor Strange. Okay. Like Doctor Strange is Any one Do of the Doctor Strange fans. Anyone have that up on their list? Yeah. Oh, we got a couple on the back. That's I think I think, think Cumberbatch did a really good job uh, portraying uh, uh, Doctor Strange, and the visuals in that movie alone, just like where he's training, and and it's just incredible seeing that. Um, no, it's the casting of Cumberbatch is incredible. He's he plays the role perfectly, and you could tell when they casted him, they already had way in mind who was going to be yeah. pairing him with uh, yeah, yeah. Robert Downey Jr. for Infinity War. I mean, yeah. you, you could just tell they already knew that that was going to be a great forth. a great combination. Yeah, no, but that movie, I, I, mainly the visuals are. I think that's the most like visually stunning Marvel movie that we have so far. Yeah, no, it has a great uh, same thing. It has its own style. Nick Fury's got a a comment. I just wish that you know, a lot of these Marvel characters at least would make an appearance on the Agents of Field. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, Nick Fury. Uh, that, that that's funny that. Captain America on it. No, no. Yeah. yeah they, I think they talk about him. Yeah. They it's, really well, like, they they feed off the storylines, which is yeah. it, it's funny because uh, Civil War, actually Winter Soldier, they they actually impacted the. The series, uh, if you're, if you're, you know, caught up to, they don't. They both checked out season one. I'm the only one who's still a glutton for punishment and sits through it. Um, I think the Ghost Rider uh, season was really good. That, that was actually finally Ghost Rider. And, and unfortunately, it wasn't Johnny Blaze. Yeah. Nice to see, yeah. You know, Tony Stark. Yeah, and, and you know, they they had Nick Fury for an yeah, episode. I was about to say that. They were yeah, they did, and and it was I think it was the end of season one. 
They had Nick Fury on for an episode, uh, Samuel Jackson. Um, but outside of that, no, and they had from Thor also. Um, uh, I forget her name. The the, the the female warrior that's in the group. Oh, so, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So she was also in an episode. So they tried season one and two. And I just think that Disney, they kind of like what Netflix did. They decided that it's still going to be adjacent to the universe, but they weren't going to really try to push the crossovers because I think that the writing was just, it's happening so fast on the cut floor and it's it's so much premeditation to make sure this episode airs in time for this film and that the season doesn't affect into this that I think they just started to really pull away from me. And you really see it in the last couple seasons and that, what was that, um the, uh, the uh, oh God, what's that alien race that they did? The, the, um, the Inhumans. The Inhumans. That was just, yeah. that was just bad. That was amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was right. amazing, amazingly bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Did anybody so actually bad. like and watch watch and like Inhumans at all? Anybody? Yeah, I don't think I, that's always going to be a quiet room. That's a, uh, that's a hard. And, no, and just for our hard. for our listeners on the podcast, there's actually people show. in the room. That's just a bad show. Yeah, yeah. I actually sat through it, and it's not it's not good at all. Um, but yeah, Age of the Shield. We yeah, get into that. Here. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm wondering about that. If mm-hmm. we'll see the effects of Infinity War pour over. Into yeah, and I really thought that was gonna happen in the last season, season finale. Anyone watching but behind on the series? I'm guessing most people just aren't gonna watch it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I really and actually, and I was also disappointed. Luke Cage didn't do that either. Um, Luke Cage came out after Infinity War, and it's and their timelines are, are bumbled, and, and apparently I hear that uh, Cloak and Dagger is the same thing. So Marvel's kind of like this last year where Ant-Man did the same thing. Ant-Man was before Infinity War, and at the end they catch you up yeah. uh, to Infinity War, which obviously Captain Marvel's going to do the same thing. Spoilers. So, yeah. So, damn, just know every Stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Sorry, hold on. Just it. one quick over-blanket spoiler alert. We're going to say everything about what we watch, uh, so if you don't want to hear... Uh, cover yours and go. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not listening. But go ahead. I'm sorry, Nick Fury. Did you know that the Daredevil was all, was also an Avenger? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, and the yes. comics they all were interchangeable uh, yeah. with one another. So I mean, and again, that's why the MCU it has its own. They did a decent job of adapting the comic books to create their own storyline uh, that a lot of the non-comic book readers have been able to dive into and just. Uh, you know, watch all the films and, and follow and, along. And, and yeah. So, but my point earlier was I was saying is like oh, the shows really aren't keeping up in sync now with the storylines the way they were and so it was a little disappointment because i think everyone was watching the yeah. series on purpose like oh how are they going to bring the thanos situation who's going to be lost from the snap and this and i don't think they did they, they avoided it they yeah, i think they're, they're purposely trying to uh take yeah. it out and yeah. separate the, the yeah. shows with yeah I, I don't think age of the shoes going to get more than another, another season i think next season probably yeah. it's last season and yeah, it's been going on for, uh, for a yeah while. the it's netflix season. verse it's a little rough that they kind of really avoid introduce you know keeping in the main storyline from the films in it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't I think, think yeah, any I think they're going to pull out of that, too. They might. You know, Disney owns Fox, and yeah, we'll see what happens be, with, all the, be, with all the Netflix shows. It back. So, your number three, that's that's just was, Doctor, uh, Strange. Doctor Strange. Yeah. 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 Right. So, see, this is the problem. So, you guys, right, we talked about this before, and um, I thought it was the whole thing, including shows. Oh, so, well, you can do it. We'll talk shows. We'll... No, but so see, if, that's, that's sorry. Because yeah, if we're doing if we, that, what? What? If you think, <laughs> in fairness, if you think that a season of a show is good enough to be in the top three yeah, so, over films, yeah, so, go ahead. No, but see, that's that's my problem. <laughs> so I'm going to go back. I'm going to say, my as far as movies, my okay. third will be uh, the first Avengers movie. The first Avengers movie. The first yeah. Avengers movie will be for me. Josh Whedon. As, as, a, as a third one. Yeah. Um, I love Loki. Um... Amazing, yeah. Uh, he's a good villain. The um, Hulk situation is awesome. Kind of, he's kind of not a villain, but yeah. um, the, but but yes, but I'm saying as far as as far as movie wise, it introduced everything that that, that yeah. I was looking forward to. See, yes, yeah, so what I like in Avengers, they didn't do like as big of a scene of it because at the end when uh, Bruce Banner comes to the Hulk and he saves the day and you know really takes a big part of being part of the team and kind of just one track mine now and that was how helpful and immediately I really like the other scene because that's always what I look forward to with the Hulk and the Avengers is when he loses control and they have to deal with him yeah. so the whole scene when Loki you know flipped them uh, on the ship and you know him and Thor were going at it which is a really cool callback on that one scene when him and Thor take that big monster down yeah. and they're just standing there and Hulk just punches him yeah. like he's just standing there like you know like oh we're good again he just punches him across the room because he's like yeah i still remember i still remember yeah. what we did back there and that's the whole thing that that's the only thing that's kind of missing and then they did the same thing in age of ultron but it was just one-on-one it was the hulk buster right. against right. the hulk and i still haven't gotten that 
that Hulk's raging mad and it literally is taking no, the entire Avengers team to stop him. Like he's the worst villain that they ever but dealt the, with. The, I mean, the best and, part of the Avengers is when he says that line. Like he tells Tony, "Yeah, well, puny God." Uh, no, he goes, "Oh, Tony, I'm always mad. I'm yeah. always angry." That's, that's how he gets key. control over. Him. Yeah, that's yeah. the key. I'm always angry. Yeah, because they basically had to wrap up all of Ed Norton's Hulk into like one sentence. Yeah. To like make it like that didn't happen, you know. And even though they still play. That's another yeah. mention for me. Though. Yeah. It is the Incredible Hulk with that Norton. One. Yeah, a lot of people kind of try because it, it hurts for it when you're a fan of a franchise like Game of Thrones or change. you know any any change in actor and you're like ah oh, and they had to do it early and I mean at least fortunately Disney was smart about it they got Ruffalo to a contract that's like ridiculous he's got like a twenty picture or fifteen picture contract something like that so they can just have him for as long as they need him um, and they didn't make you know they didn't do that with Ed Norton and Ed Norton tried to cash in big the way Robert Downey was, and, yeah. and they're like, well, you're not Robert Downey. You know, he started the franchise Iron Man. So it got complicated, but he was a good Bruce Banner. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It's, it's still part of the Marvel Universe. There's a lot of people try to forget it because you hate the fact that yeah, it's a great you have film, another actor. It's a great no, film. it is. No, I, 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 they awesome. still... It was, I, I, I think that one, um, apart from Iron no, Man, I think that one actually started off for me as far as, like, getting really into Marvel, like, as far as movie... movie over movie. Iron Man? I'm saying... Be, oh. I, like getting yeah. into Marvel as a apart, yeah. apart from Iron Man, yeah. Like, yeah, that's actually one that you have to pay attention to. Uh, it had great graphic, um, and the battles were really good. They were well done. No, the scene where he kicks Tim Roth right. uh, across yeah, the field, to, to the and he's team. like, "Is that all you got?" And he yeah. just one kick and like yeah. breaks every bone yeah. in his body, which it's, they don't yeah. bring up at all. In, uh, no, Luke they, Cage. yeah, they don't. Yeah, exactly. that was in Harlem. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That was that whole fight scene with uh, Abomination. Yeah, which they don't bring up Abomination either. The the whole thing, also, and with the Hulk, that's at the end. You have Iron Man shows up in the post credits with. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, what is it, General Ross? General Ross. With General yeah. Ross. So it's like, it, it really, I mean, even though you had Samuel Jackson at the end of Iron Man 1 and Nick Fury with the, so you want to be, you know, and all of that, it was actually more definitive, like, okay, they're really doing this when they took the star from the movie they just did and put them at the end of the new one. And that yeah. was really what started, like, okay, this is actually going to happen. Gonna happen. Yeah. They're really going to make this universe. And here we are 10 years later, 20 films later. See, and, I, and that's what's incredible in fair. I mean, he, he said Avengers, the first one, which is, is the coup de grace because Avengers is the first. First Avengers, Avengers film, you know that brought them all together, and and again another you know uh, you know uh, certification that again this is happening. Here you go, it's on the screen. Josh Whedon did a great job. I don't know what happened to Justice League. Sorry, DC fans. Um, but <laughs> I'm a DC fan too. But yeah, just it, Justice League didn't hold up, and that's the difference. Where you know his number three is Avengers. It's a great top film. Because it did that. It, it it made you excited for the universe. You watched it. They did a great job bringing them together. Loki was not the darkest villain, but a good enough villain to have to make them come together. They already started hinting at Thanos right out the gate, which took not, you know another seven years after that yeah. before we got it. But they, you know, and just like they did Incredible Hulk, they did already so many Easter eggs, which, I mean, that's a common phrase now. You know, Easter eggs is like, you wouldn't say that, but not thanks to Marvel, everyone knows what an Easter egg is. And now everyone's doing it in all their films. Post credits is is now a, a, a very common thing. Half the movies you go to watch, if you don't wait to see what happens after the credits, you're kind of crazy because you're probably going to miss something. And, you know, Marvel wasn't the first to do it, but they've just really put a stamp on this is the way we're going to do films from now on. And they've completely affected the entire, you know, cinema industry that yeah, everyone's yeah. following code. Hey, everyone's they're doing Easter eggs. Right? They're doing crossovers. Yeah. Other people are trying to start universes that have that dark universe. Uh, yeah, that they're trying to do with the monsters. They're not going to do, yeah, exactly. gonna do it. But, you know, it's, it's a lot of people want to, you know, join in on that. So Avengers, having that in your top three, is, it's, it's clever. And Incredible Hulk, which also is a great film, it's the same thing. It's the first film to really have a bunch of Easter eggs, have a bunch of edits, and have crossovers. And then you have Avengers, which has put us on the road that we're at right. now. So, so we... That's, that's the three. Yeah, I think we all have the same number two also. I don't know. Do we? Okay, uh, we might have some... We might have some uh, Anger in the audience is I it might be number one for most of the people in the audience, but um, we actually have Infinity War as our number two. Well, me and you, I don't know if my yeah, I, don't, I think it does also. You don't? No. Nope. Infinity War is your number one? No. No. What? All right, well, we'll talk All right about this is gonna get interesting. Okay. <laughs> so we could talk about Infinity War, which might take up the whole uh, panel, but uh, I have it as my number two. It, it follows off. Of the, uh, you have a number two also, right? The same. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, the Russo brothers, I mean, this, they know how to make movies. They, they really do. Um, and this, I mean, Infinity War is incredible. It just, it's, it leaves you so empty. Uh, you watch that film, everyone leaves there the same way, dead silence. They play no, you know, uh, music at the end, and it just, uh, I mean, it, it pulls at you. I think every just, theater ended the same way. Yeah, everyone, everyone's anything. just. 
dead quiet. Just dead quiet. Everyone had everyone had, the, everyone had the same reaction. And it's like I was saying earlier, I watched it two more times after that. I watched it once with my parents. And uh, and the main reason you want to watch it again with someone who hasn't seen it is now that you know what's happening, you want to see their reaction yeah. Yeah. to it. To Of course, yeah. it's great. Of course. Of course. The suffering of others is great entertainment. But yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it, it's just mind blowing that they actually, I mean, it kind of uh, sucks in the sense that, you know, you know that a lot of that's going to get fixed. And, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I, all of us, we know that. So we don't leave completely distraught. We Maybe. know some of those are permanent. But yeah. we, we don't know that all. Well, we know some of the, the original yeah, it's not, Avengers are coming. It's not like all. most of them are coming back, but when who knows who's gonna survive? When you speak about it being fixed, it goes back to when Doctor Strange said that he's seen so many scenarios. Yes, right? yeah. that's that. That's, that. that's something we yeah yeah right where they won, and where that's won. yeah. That's why. So he does what he does because he knows that that is the only. He already really knows the outcome. Yeah. 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 Well, if you do the math, like most likely the theory on that, the one that resonated with me the most on, on that concept was that. The one where they win is the one where some of them lose right away. In other words, he needed them, he needed Thanos to get, instead of, of them continuing the fight and not bartering, and most likely Thanos kind of says a hint because there's a part when he sees Iron Man, he even says Tony Stark, and he knows who he is, and he says, you know who I am, and he says, you're not the only one cursed with knowledge. So there's a lot of theories that it might be Iron Man that does him in, and Thanos kind of has had some kind of premonition of that. Uh, but regardless, Doctor Strange had to have seen in that one time that they won that Iron Man, Nebula, a, a small few, Captain America, the, the few that are left were the ones that are able to fix it, somehow go back, uh, take the gauntlet from him, whatever needs to be done, where if they would have just continued fighting to the death, he probably would have killed all of them before snapping his fingers, and if he would, then there would have been nobody to fix it. So that's the whole concept. Why he kind of sped up the process to give them the the ones who will be left a chance, you know, to fix those situation. Batman in the back. I actually think the best way to rewatch Infinity War mm -hmm. is to watch all the others all over again. You spoke about the original Avengers. Yeah. If you look at the Age of Ultron, Iron Man Two, when they have been dialogue, especially when they're fighting with Loki, Spectre, and Iron Man One. Yes. It's up to them, and they can only win because that is that's the only reason why it's still more. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When they're together, that they're at their strongest. Exactly. Yep. I personally think that if I'm Tony, had made that call to Steve before that ship came. Yeah. Infinity War would have had a different outcome. Right. Of course. They would have worked together. Yeah. They would have ended up. Yeah. It would. Yeah. It would. It definitely would have had a, a, a different move. They said, um, "How do we do? If we if we do it like this, we we lose." Yeah. Uh, um, and he says, "We'll do that together how, how too." We do that. So we lose. We do that together too. too. Yeah. It, it's 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 them. You know, they they have to you know really you know focus on the fact that Captain America is the glue that holds it all together. He is the true leader. Um, you know, even though cinematically speaking, it's it's Iron Man. He's the one that's you know does the most cameos in the other films. He is the character that you know funds it all. It's like Batman yeah. and Justice League. You know, it, he he's the one that makes it happen on paper. But the heart of the team, and they kind of do that in Avengers when he, where he tells him he goes, "Call it Cap," and it's like Captain America, and they they have to reinsess that. With unfortunately, there's a good chance that that's going to be a permanent death that will have to deal with, and that's their way of making it more that much more impacting. Uh, where it's okay now without Captain America, where are we going to be now? And then we'll see what they're gonna do with Captain Marvel. Just that seems another captain, and you know, we'll we'll see how they go from there. Captains. Yeah, it's more captains. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. yeah. Winter Soldier, and you have the shield on yeah. the, the shield on his arm. Uh, that would be the, the would well, be a great should. step. Would, yeah. They should lead yeah. That way. White Wolf. They're calling him now in, in Wakanda. Yeah. 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 White Wolf. White Wolf. Oh, so. Well, we have that as number two. What was your number two? Iron Man. The first. The Iron first Man. Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, the one that wow. set everything up. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm old school. Over, old school. Over Winter Soldier? I mean, I love, I love, I love the new movies. I love everything. I mean, so, wait, so Infin but Infinity War did not make your top oh, three? Oh, see, that's the thing, man. I'm, I'm so weird, huh? huh? We, we have a really bad panel, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just, that's just the way, like, I, I go back, I, I watch, I, I mean, I watch those films and they're still hold. Old oh, Rod, curiosity, in, in the room, it, uh, you can do it by applause so we can actually hear it on the audio. Infinity War is your number one. Is that, like, probably the majority in the room? 
Wow. Wow. Okay. We got a very uh, okay. critical, uh, uh, critical room. Is Iron Man the first one up there for a lot of people? I will. Wow. Yeah, we have a tradition. Hey, look at you, a good company. I, I'm We're the bad saying, panelists. I'm just saying, when you go back, when you go back and you, you watch that movie, I mean, that, that, re- that movie started it yeah. off for us. Cool, Ro- he, hey, Robert Downey. He I just, mean, he stole it. I mean, it was, he is Iron Man. Um, the storyline with that, how he started, uh, the, the first suit he made. Yes, like every, in the cave. Every, every, the cave, the cave scene, scene yeah. which is like straight out of the comic book. About yeah. that, straight out about of the comic book. that movie yeah. makes it so like... And he, you can't pick anyone else to play Tony Stark. No, I, no. I mean, I wouldn't. No. I have the best origin story. Yes. 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 Yeah. I, I, For me, number one is Winter Soldier. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, You're in good company. <laughs> so, but Iron Man has the best origin story. For yes. Personal development, and do not have Iron Man three also. <laughs> no, I know. But <laughs> we have we have yeah, he's, he's out of here. You know, we, we have someone who it's really despises Iron Man we have. Because I'm gonna say this person on a whim. I do not care about the Mandarin. I've always thought that's a very weak villain. So I loved what they did in that film. Yeah, it's just, it was amazing. I mean, <laughs> listen, the previous told you now, you would never see awesome. it coming. That, that you awesome. never saw that coming. That like, he said ever. it in the trailers. He says it. You'll never see me. That's not the problem I have with the Mandarin. Uh, was it Iron? Uh, the Fantastic Four, along with the Silver Surfer, were. Shot too soon, you know what I mean? Like those movies. Yeah. You know, oh yes. They needed to happen around this time. Yeah. 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 Well, that's. Well, hopefully. I'll, I'll tell getting, you. Yeah. Hopefully they're getting the rights back. Yeah. Okay. And the whole thing there is like uh, again, we're not gonna talk about the non uh, MCU films for the most part. The only thing I'll say is that the theory is, and it makes the most sense, to move on from Thanos. The next big will probably be Galactus. Which will be the yeah, right, and then with Captain be, Marvel about to come out, yeah. that's going to leave a lot of room. And then it kind of always makes sense as why Disney's kind of been on this rush to really get the deal closed already with Fox is to start that. Mr. Fantastic helped out when it was yes. Thanos. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's, it's like with Civil War. It's yeah. unfortunate they didn't have the rights at the time, but they'll be able to use them a lot if they do a Galactus storyline, which is. You know, it's the only way you can get bigger than, than Thanos. The dreams. Yeah, and they can get into there and then bring in Silver Surfer, which if they're smart, they'll bring in Silver Surfer first as a villain, uh, the way he was, but marinate on it. Not like the way Fox did it where in the same film he flips and becomes a hero. Marinate that he's, you know, you, you have the reasoning, which was which makes Thanos, Thanos a great villain, doing. is you see his reasoning too. So you don't despise him. You know what I mean? You, you kind of understand, you, you know, want, where he's coming from. Yes, yeah, right, yes. Right, right. You want to hate him because he's the villain, but you kind of understand. Get it. You get and, it. and it's the same thing when you understand like Silver Surfer's storyline from the comic books where he's doing it to protect his world, but it's at the cost of others. So, But he'll still be the villain. So if they're smart, they'll bring him in as a villain first, marinate on that before they start actually making a go towards Galactus. And they've been talking a lot. The actress who's going to play Captain Marvel, she's already brought it up several times that she can move planets, uh, which is in the comic books apparently. And that makes sense because Galactus eats planets. So the only hero that's even come close to having a chance is someone that can also move a planet move it, to yeah. fight someone going to eat a planet. And then you have Adam Warlock. They're most likely going to bring him in uh, yeah, for the next, for Guardians, the next Guardians, film. Guardians film. Depending so, on the script. Yeah, so it's, there's a lot of room yeah. there. So Fantastic Four is going to get done right. Yeah, I read an article, though, that <laughs> said at least it's going to be five years yeah. until we'll yeah. ever see the Fantastic Four. Makes sense. And yeah. I, I think it said, like, the very best. Uh, same thing with X Men. At least five years. Okay. Please, God. Yeah, it's better that way. I don't want the. They need. Yeah, here's yeah. it is. They, yeah. they, they know. They did a good job of Civil War. It's on our top. It's a great film. Civil War is very well done. Yeah. It, it has a lot of great characters, oh, yeah. but it's not the impact that the comic books had. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if they're gonna start leading eventually to Secret Wars, they gotta really build up the stable. They, yeah. Secret Wars, you can't do with just the amount that they have. As many as they have already, it's still not enough. They need to bring in all the X-Men. They need to bring in all the villains from Fantastic Four. They, that's the other thing. They got to really build up the villain stable. So they're going to have to start going into a multiple villain uh, in, you know, in their storyline soon, where as opposed to it's one hero, one villain, one hero, one villain, or six heroes, one villain. They're going to have to start bringing three or four villains at a time to really start building up that stable. So when they do a secret war 20 years from now, <laughs> hopefully. No, um, I mean, they have enough to go yeah, for it, 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 It'll be huge. And which will be a great opportunity if they get rid of someone like uh, Captain America to then bring him back. Right. right. Which I personally say will work yeah. for Chris Evans because, you know, by then he'll be like, all right, I tried to make other movies and now I need money. No, so yeah. I'll do it again. Yeah. You know? In the back. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, mm-hmm. the original storyline of the comics, Warlock has a big, yes. you know, Role right. Taking down Thanos. 
I I don't know. I I think personally that it's gonna lead into Guardians of Galaxy three, uh, because the Soul Stone is on the the gauntlet. Um, and now there's a whole, which he likes to call the search for Spock uh, uh, storyline, where they did in Star Trek, where most likely Gamora doesn't come back in the next Avengers film. And then in the next Guardians film, it would be kind of like a search for Spock, where it's, we need to get back Gamora, get back which will lead to the Soul Stone ending up uh, with Adam Warlock. It was a little weird for me. Because, yeah. I mean, Adam Warlock actually had the Soul Stone. Yes. Yes. But that, and what's interesting about that yeah, is you he, get to see the what, the what they do with it. He ends up defeating him, right? Yes. And then he, yeah. Yeah. But that, but and that's what you you kind of get to be surprised. You know, it's yeah, almost like yeah, if, yeah. if you read the source material, you're like, okay, they only have these many options. How are they going to use it? And yeah. it works. And it works. And they and, have to change. And you get plenty Infinity surprised. Anymore, he, uh, Thanos had the whole thing with death in the right. in the comic book, and that's why I had. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they could have pulled that off on. Spoiler on screen. alert for the non comic readers. So <laughs> I don't think you're going to. Yeah, I think you're going to have to read comics. Our number one films. Um, before, talk about, we, do we have the same one too? Um, we do. We do. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, then uh, let him go first. Then. So yeah, what's your number one? Ah, uh, Winter Soldier is my number oh, one. Oh, that is the same number. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all three of us have Winter Soldier. How many people are in agreement with that? Uh, by sound of applause. Okay, excellent. Yeah, the, yeah. Um, it's it's incredible because when you really think about it, the reason Winter Soldier is still most people want to say that is the best film is because it's as a standalone, it's it's not even a comic book film. You can just watch that movie, not it's care about comics, movie. be like, yeah, I'm not gonna watch any of that other Iron Man stuff yeah. or whatever. And it's like I just and you watch that and if you like the Bourne Supremacy, any of the Bourne movies, Bond movies, any any, any good espionage spy movie, yeah. and it just takes it up a notch because it's superheroes. But it's the Russo brothers, they just know what they're doing, man. It, yeah. That's such an incredible script. Um the acting it's great. I mean every, all the little scenes in that are just so I mean, actually, one of my favorite scenes in that film, it doesn't even have uh, Captain America in it, and that's when uh, Nick Fury is uh, being attacked yeah, in the street, yeah. and oh, and he gets pinned in by the two cars. It's it's such a you know such a great moment, film yeah, moment. Like, and they actually give Nick Fury that yes, moment yeah. because yes. until then he didn't have that. Yeah, he was just a guy walking yes. around. He's just yeah. <laughs> together. That's the first time Nick Fury became a Putting hero. Everybody. Yeah, he was actually a Putting really involved hand to hand hero, and that elevator scene. With Captain America is just, that's one of the yeah. best hand to hand yeah. combat scenes, um, you know, many on one ever. I mean, usually it's very open up. We have like martial art movies. You go back into the eighties and stuff, where it's like one guy in a room of a hundred people. Yeah. And take on, but this With that close quarters close, close in quarter. the elevator and the build up that as they're getting to every floor and more and, more, and it's like almost it's, like they're getting bigger it's too. Silent. Yeah, it's like yeah. like like first like all oh, like six foot guys right? and then yeah. like the next day like six foot four and like yeah. and it's like dude you can't even breathe in this elevator no more <laughs> and you know it's like oh it's about to go down and then what it does is like it's just so raw and I mean all the fight sequences even with John. Uh, George St. Pierre at the beginning yeah, when he yeah, kicks him with fight. the shield. Yeah. I mean, just like all the fight sequences in that film are great. The interaction between um, Captain America's character and, uh, and Black, Widow, Black Widow, great. All of that. All the interaction. Yeah, even his between, interaction with the, the uh, funny Falcon. banter with Falcon. Yes. When left. Falcon. Left. <laughs> and Falcon's like, <laughs> stop it. He's like, stop it. Fifth left. Don't you say it. <laughs> don't you say it. Left. <laughs> yeah, down. that, um, unfortunately, I did not like the first, um, I'm gonna bring it Captain up. America. But the first yeah. Captain America, I did not like uh, it at all. That's probably the bottom at of most all. people's list. No, no, I don't even know. Um, yeah, it's not that I, good. I just, it was not. Um, I, I edit that out. I'm not her offspring. She didn't think it was bad. Yeah, I should like it. The CGI was amazing. It's not good. <laughs> the CGI. I mean, the CGI. I mean, obviously the CGI sucks. No, and that, and, and luckily in Infinity, where they managed to bring back Red Skull, even though it's not the same actor, oh, right. and oh, that, that guy does him so good. Really but it was cool because it kind of fixed up the Red Skull, like, and, it, and it made it a little bit more impacting yeah. what happened to him and right. uh, uh, in Captain America. So first. That, that is, that first is my Captain. That Captain America's Avenger was not very yeah. good. No, it's not there's nothing, nothing very... No, it's nothing but anything. Winter Soldier, any, uh, throw it out if uh, you have a number one we didn't say as your number one. We said uh, Winter Soldier, Iron... It's not, my, it's not my number one, but it's up there, Thor Ragnarok. Yes, oh, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That was almost yeah. an honorable mention man. for me. Yeah. That is a buddy cop movie. I that love is, it. Yeah. That is in, in the heart of Rush Hour or yeah. Lethal Weapon. Yeah, the, yeah. The, a good buddy cop. It is. It yeah, is. Not yeah. Like yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> not like... <laughs> what? I'm sorry. One of my favorites is I introduced Marvel to a co-worker of mine. I used to work at Target. And I said, I'm going to go to Marvel. And he's like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Yes. That was his number yeah. three. Yeah. That is... Yeah, it's just... I mean, Cumberbatch, 
He's, He's a great actor. You can't go wrong with Cumberbatch. Yeah. Are we going to be looking for the more movies that leave you with that void type of ending? I doubt it. I mean, the first thing, yeah. I was pretty smart. Uh, I mean, Marvel, they know they can't do it again. They kept talking about it was Infinity War Part well, 1 can. and 2. They really can't. Yeah. Oh, no. When they go to the yeah. Oh, yeah. They really yeah, can. When they, when they get there. Powerful. That's why this Marvel is so powerful. Yeah. He can fly the celestial. When he comes with the celestial, remember? Nowhere. That big head in the celestial. Yeah. 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 People forget yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but what I mean, yeah. what they can't do again is is catch us off guard because they really and we all kind of had the feeling, but we weren't sure when they did the title change because they kept saying it was going to be Infinity War Part One, Part Two, Infinity War One, Part, and then they said no, part, it's going to be a completely different. I mean, they just straight up lied. It's going to be a completely different storyline. Yeah. It's not happening. It's just Infinity War. The next one's a completely different title. It's it, we're gonna wrap up the storyline, and they did it. So when the ending happened, you're like, you got me, you liars, you got me. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well done. What? But that they go away from the storyline and they have all these. Uh, sometimes they have you guys planted up here to mislead them. Yes. Yeah. They do a lot of things about them. I love that about them. Yeah. So when it comes to the, the Celestials, trust me, there's a lot of source material. There's a lot of things that are there that they can take. Yeah, and it's, and again, it's... And again, it, they, 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 let me see the hands of all those who heard about this chapter, but still didn't expect it. Oh, that already, that, yeah. that already knew it was going to happen? Yeah. You had to expect it. When it was done, I was like, oh my God. There's actually, for yeah, Ant, for, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for Ant Man and the Wasp, there's a lot of people that didn't get that. That actually, like, what happened? Like, did you see Infinity War? When yeah. he's not, like, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was pretty funny, Ant because, like, we have kids in the audience. If you see Ant Man with they kids, just left, if you're yeah. smart, just leave before the post credits. Like, yeah, it's a happy movie. Yeah, yeah, you know. Oh, and, but it's like, you knew, time. if you stayed for the post credits, you knew what they were going to do. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I mean, what's shocking is, and I don't know if a lot of people got that because I've had this conversation with, with, with a handful of people. They show when he goes in the van, and I think everyone had the same concept going into Ant-Man. It's like, okay, when they get to that, it's only going to be, like, probably the Wasp and her dad. Like, But then it's, like, everyone. It's, you know, the Wasp, her dad. And then on top of that, they show his apartment, which is where his, um, uh, you know, roommate is. Yeah, and, and, business, yeah. and it's completely yeah, empty. They show the TVs. Or show, when they show the ant playing the drums, which is funny. But leading up to the ant playing the drums, you're noticing, like, he might not have anyone. He same might thing. actually have lost everyone in that snap unlike a lot of the other avengers who might still have here and there yeah and and that's what i'm saying the only one that might because they didn't show what's his name goliath and ghost um no, at the end of the movie. Yeah. so my guess is that's who's going to actually end up saving him because he's lost everyone he personally you knows think Luis is and um Luis. 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 oh yeah no yes. they didn't show him in the apartment or in the office Man, he's so probably, i don't know he's probably I mean, the one maybe, he's, he's, he's the best the one. I did Ant Man's up there too, and like Thor Ragnarok, like the comedy, Ant Man's so good with that whole he's, scene. He's really good, man. Oh, he's one of my favorite characters. He's so really good. Every other actor is good in that scene because they're doing him, yes, doing yeah. them. Yeah, no, no, so even watching the Wasp, when she's that's like, amazing. "Yeah, man," so I'm like, "I'm really confused." And my heart's like, you know, like yeah. the way she's like, it's so <laughs> funny to see that, and the whole thing with Morrissey, Morrissey and, uh, yeah. on the jukebox. Yeah, that's that's really you don't like it. All the characters, he's a Morrissey fan. All of that's great. With the like, sorry, man, it's like a jukebox. You put a diamond, you gotta let it play. Would you give an honorable mention for the, sec the second Deadpool? That's not in the Marvel Cinema. Security. <laughs> Security. <laughs> Front row. No. You know what's sad? He doesn't know this stuff, everyone. He's even like hiding his face. No, no, we're not going to talk. No. We're not going to talk about that. Deadpool's great, though. We love Deadpool 1 and 2. Great films, but we're through Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, go in the back. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's great. I, I mean, I think Black and Panther did a lot. Uh, it had I, a lot of hype to it. Yeah. But that's, in the end, that's, it was that's very, my I, I mean, Killmonger before Thanos came out was the villain. best villain my, of all the nineteen villain. movies that came before that. He was the best. Yeah. Villain. My my thing with that movie is um, I, they they got rid of Killmonger too soon Wait, for yeah. me. Uh, so it, it's a good yeah, movie. The movie's great. I think that villain the, is the movie's the best. great. Yeah. It's a good movie. It's just. Right. There's certain aspects of it that that's why it didn't it didn't make my my top my right. top anything. And yeah, I know, not my top maybe for, huge, maybe for other people huge. it will. Maybe for other people, maybe for the kids it will be their top threes or whatever. But just it didn't do it for me. Yeah. But I agree with you that the Killmonger should have stayed for at least two more movies. Yeah. He was, yeah. I, for me, it's Thanos, well, Killmonger, and then. Um. Yeah. Just just something I'll bring up because we're talking about it. Just you know, it just happens in the time to be. 
Right now, you can buy tickets. They're doing IMAX is doing it, the Discovery Museum, and the Regal Theater, I believe in Miami, the closest ones. They're doing a marathon starting August 30th through September 6th. Five movies a day. Yeah. All 20 films all the way through. We Ant-Man don't work for Marvel. Yeah, 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 I'm not saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't work for, don't work for we, we, we I'm just, I'm just yeah. throwing that out there because a lot of them are going to be in IMAX that weren't in IMAX before. Yeah. Like uh, Iron Man is going to be in IMAX 3D, the first one, which has never been. So sure. nah, but I'm, I'm probably going to go to that. I think I'm going to go to that. I'm just saying I'm probably going to go to that. But yes. They have packaged you. I, well, I was looking at it because I'm interested in going. I'm really interested in going. And uh, the Discovery Science Museum was my wife in here because she's probably going to no, avoid. She's, she's going to avoid that. She's like, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> but at the IMAX Museum, they have different packages. They have one that's like all 20 and then one that's like five of them or 10 of them. So like they have different deals, one a day or one day all five. Don't do that, man. Yeah. And Don't I think the Regals are going to say, no, nah, man. Don't do it. Gets, no, at least it's breaking it up Don't. five a day because I know when they every time a new movie comes out, like Infinity War, some of the theaters are doing like, oh, yeah, starting the night night before yeah, at 2 yeah. people like man it's got to get really musty in that theater yeah, it's, like yeah. <laughs> it's got to get a little rank in there <laughs> like, you know, people just sitting yeah, there and all, all, all day you're eating hot time. dogs and popcorn like dude how much how long can you do that for it's like that's just mm, no, 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 that's not the slumber party i want to go yes. to uh what do you think avengers 4 is going to be called and when are you going to find out your guess is good as good as mine man good question um, I, I want to throw something out that from uh, Infinity War, though, because it's going to lead up into Captain Marvel. That's pretty cool because uh, there's Captain Marvel, which it looks like Jude Law is playing that. Um, I don't know if a lot of people saw this Easter egg. It's all over the Internet now with the sash from uh, from Captain Marvel is on. I forget his, that villain's name, but the, what is his name? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that he's wearing the sash from Captain. Everyone thinks it's going to be Captain Marvel, not Captain Marvel. But that is such an interesting twist to it now that we know it's there's definitely going to be probably Thanos in uh, the Captain Marvel film, just prequel. And, and Marvel does that very well. They just throw it out there. Before, yeah. Even for the comic book fans, just yeah. to get you talking. Yeah, it's smart. Yeah. It's smart. Okay. Based on that, can you guys, do you guys know anything about Hawkeye? Um, the transformation to Ronan? Oh, he was. Uh, have you seen the movie Tag? That's what happened to Hawkeye. <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> he was playing tag. He was playing tag with his friends. And I go, have you seen that movie? He is Hawkeye in that movie. He's like a martial artist. He's like got an attitude. It's, like, it's hilarious. No, but yeah, I, I think Ronan's gonna pop up probably in the. And I, I was hoping for Ant Man. I was really hoping that Ant Man was gonna do something with that, but it looks like he's not showing up to the next Avengers film, unfortunately. To the Ronan character, yeah. That, I mean, that yeah, would be a great, right. that'd be good. Especially if he gets his own film. He should. Yeah. He should get his own film. Yeah, yeah. and well, there was a lot. Of, there there was a lot of talk yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, there was a lot of talk of like a prequel to Infinity War of what happened to that half of the Avengers right. before Infinity War, and that would be cool so to see. I know it's it, there's the rumor mills. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was hearing speculation and um, reading about how Captain Marvel, like with Jude Law, how mm. when he dies, that power is inherited. Yeah. Right. So within the Captain Marvel movie, which takes place, what is it? In the 90s. In the 90s. In the 90s. We could see maybe the Black Order. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what you were saying. That's, that's, yeah, that's what yeah. it seems that's, to be hinting I, at. I see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, and with the with the DNA morphing, that's how she becomes even more powerful than he was. Because right. he used to throw Thanos beatings, well, especially, with, and which makes sense why he would need a gauntlet. But apparently that the combination of the DNA and everything they try to do to unfuse the DNA makes her even stronger and stronger and stronger. So it's like uh, next level. Um, we got a little bit of time so we can sway over and we talk a little bit about the series uh, in the cinematic universe, which would be mostly the Netflix ones are the worst. Yeah. The no, ones I mean, worth. Yeah. I, I, mean, I don't have. At least for me. I, I'm alone on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but it's not, a, a it's not, the, uh, not, it's it's not the greatest film. I heard but, uh, Cloak and Dagger was pretty good. But I, haven't really I actually started watching it the other night. The opening episode is pretty good. It yeah. has it's it, it's got a good origin it's not story. Bad, right? yeah. yeah. But when you get into the series, I just wanted to let you guys know uh-huh. I was really thrilled to see that Thor got his eye popped. Oh yeah. 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 He got a butt eye. <laughs> he got a butt eye. <laughs> he should have washed, washed it first. He didn't wash that eye first. But uh, Rocket Whoa. warned him. <laughs> That's fun. Bring you. And then he comes back. Uh, for shows, I'll run on the list and we'll talk about what our favorites. Obviously, the ones that aren't going to make the list. Uh, Agent Carter is not on there. I actually no. enjoyed it. It's a decent show, but uh, that's not on the top of anything. Room, so. uh, Agents of Shield is uh, it's all right. Um, obviously, the ones the, the, uh, in humans is horrible. Uh, yeah, we'll get the the, really the, the biggest disappointment actually of all of them was the Defenders. Not that it's like the worst thing ever. It just wasn't what it should have been. 
I yeah. think everyone was disappointed. Yeah. Iron, Man, Iron Fist. Iron and that's why I Defenders... Mean, Iron Fist yeah. is Iron number Fist one yes. with the on that list. Yeah. Yes. Iron Fist is, Iron is kind of the reason Defenders was disappointing because yeah. they focused so much yeah. on that the yeah. Danny Rand character. Yeah, Danny Rand. Don't give up on Iron Fist. Oh, yeah, I mean, we'll no, see. I saw, I saw his, a suit. I saw it. Yeah, his, his cameo in Luke Cage season two yeah. was better. I it, really like. It was better. Yeah, I prefer yeah. their interaction. I prefer the way that he's being portrayed now better. Yeah. But unfortunately, it was still feeding off that first Iron Fist run right. that Defenders came off of, and it was just a huge disappointment. I, I just didn't yeah. like that he was running around. Going, please, please be my friend. I'm yeah. Danny Rand. Um, <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> like I, I was tired of it of after like walking around. No, no and it doesn't make sense because he's still like a twelve year old kid, and he was like he didn't get frozen. He grew right. up. He but didn't grow up there, but he still grew up. He got yeah. raped. Like, he he's, doesn't know. He's still a man. Like he's still a yeah. man. I get, I get, yeah, yeah. Like, I will get that technology thing. Right. But, like yeah. He's still like. You're yeah. a grown man. He's a grown yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he's like still acting like, oh, like remember when we were a little sleep? Like, how did you remember that? He's talking about your sleepovers. Yeah. So like, they're like, stop. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just heartbreaking. Uh, but yeah. on the Netflix, um, for me, I, I I go, I'll go real quick. My order of three, and then you guys do yours, and I and then we'll discuss them. Uh, I go, uh, I have to go, number three, uh, Punisher, two Daredevil, one season one, and then uh, number my number one is Daredevil season two. Number one is Daredevil. Yeah. yeah, Daredevil season two is my number one for yeah, yeah. series, uh, seasons of a of a series. Je- Je- the no, first season no, of Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Jones. Yeah, first no, season. Jessica Jones is good, but it's not. It, it's, it's like number Jessica four. Jones. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, the first season of Jessica Jones. And we got we did a really Doctor good. Who panel earlier, and it's yeah. David Tennant. That's David Tennant that's, that, that, that's, that's one of the top villains of Marvel. It's David David Tennant. I mean, yeah. What's his name? Killjoy. What's his name? Kill, Killjoy, right? Kill, Killgrave. Killgrave. Sorry. Killjoy. Killgrave. Killgrave. Killjoy. Killjoy. That's a show. That's a show. Yeah. 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 Kill, um, yeah. Killgrave. That is actually, because it's not in one of the films, so it's hard to say, but that is the best villain, which as good as Kingpin is, I thought that was the best villain of the of the series of Marvel was Killgrave. He's, the actor's great. Tenet just does such a great job, yeah. but the interaction, the things he does... With those abilities, the way he uses them is it's 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 so evil. I mean, so I just can't get past season. Villain. I I tried season two and I can't get past the middle part. I don't. It's not as. Good she as needs a pinch season. runner. She and needs a hard. she needs you a know, really good you know, stunt double. Looks like her that can actually oh, she can run. run. Yeah, she is yeah. the worst runner. You no, know, my my problem with Jessica Jones is like I don't know if they're not portraying how strong she really is. They're not. Um, there's so they many. Have to bring it down a little bit. Like, yeah, but it's so like I just I I don't see it. Every time I see, it, I'm like, well, but she can do this, but then you don't. Why are you not showing it more? Yeah, it's budget. weird. Like budget. I just yeah, yeah, it's a budget, it's a budget thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. and that's why the Daredevil and the Punisher. Magic. Yeah, but it is <laughs> that's it's not movies, and that's what it is. Daredevil and Punisher works better because since they're not super powered, you know, over you know overly ability heroes. They're able to be grimy with them. They're able to just be, you know, down, dirty, lower budget, make it more about the interaction. I mean, in Daredevil, and that's the main reason Daredevil season two is my number one is that fight scene in the prison. It's not even Daredevil with the Punisher yeah. going that's, down that corridor. That, yeah. that's that is that fight, which number one was the hallway scene with in season yes, one with Daredevil. Yes, that, that's this blew it. that away. This was so yeah. brutal, so graphic. Uh, I, uh, and then the fight scene Shane the from end. Walking Dead. That's who he's always going to be. The fight scene um, in the end of the Punisher was yes. incredible too. Yeah, between the, uh, him and yeah, the, yeah. the guy from Westworld. That's a great yeah. one. What's your three on series? Yo, so, so I think we have the same one. So you uh, said yeah. you said Punisher, Punisher is your third. Daredevil season one, so Daredevil Punisher, season two. Punisher, I think, will be my third. Yeah. And then um, I, I actually have a bad verse because I, I like I like their yeah, season one first. So season one will be my number one. Yeah. And and uh, Punisher. Will, so the second season. And anyway, if you haven't seen two. the Netflix so. Marvel shows, I mean you're. I mean, you can start skipping it, and when you get the second seasons of other ones, but all the anything but with their, Luke, yeah. Luke Cage was Daredevil. good. I, I like season Luke one. Cage, Luke Cage is good. Season yeah, one. all the season ones except for Iron Fist uh, well, are good and Defenders. Of, the first half of Luke Cage was incredible. The, yes. And then yeah, and the twist. Then yeah, the twist yeah. happens. Yeah. And You're then, like, oh, we have a yeah. great villain. You know, Cottonmouth's a great villain, yeah. and then like. You know, they just happen so fast. Like, wow, okay, they really I, went there. Over, like, yeah. <laughs> no, and I really like the villain from season two. The who well, ends up uh, yeah. not kind of being a villain, but uh, Bushmaster. Yeah, Bushmaster. He's he's yes. awesome. Yeah. He's a good actor. Uh, I just saw the night of. He was in that. I didn't realize it yeah. on HBO. He's good in that too. A small part. I, I like but. that each each series has its own style. It it, it does. Yeah, it's it cinematically does. like just. Uh, it just I just hope different. that they get it. Um, they get something. A little bit better as far as the defenders before um, Disney decides to pull it out because that's what it's gonna happen. 
Yeah. Disney's going to definitely get it out of there. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to do their own stream thing, and unfortunately, we'll lose those shows, and then they'll reboot them all again eventually. No, they'll, they'll um, just move it, over, they'll move it over to their Disney streaming. That's probably That's probably happen. Because, I mean, Daredevil, I want to keep going forever. Like, I really, I want to yeah. see, I mean, but it's just taking so long to kick out the seasons. But, yeah, the, the Punisher, that's got to get another season. Daredevil is getting another season. So, it, there's there's a lot of hope in there. Um, so, necessity. What was uh, your three before we do the oh, necessity? Right. You uh, my, my three was like yours. It was pretty lined uh, up. It was pretty lined up, yeah. It was Punisher. Uh, Punisher is my third season one and then season two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll just throw out there, they hate it, but if you're going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Ghost Rider season's really good, yeah. personally, because the Ghost Rider films are so bad that it. they yeah, actually had a good, solid season. It unfortunately wasn't Johnny Blaze, but you know they did a, a very good job. I, my problem with Agents of, of Shield is that it relies too much on the films, where the Netflix series they really just tell their own stories in that universe. But it's very like their own stories. Agents of Shield relies way too much on the films, and I can't, I can't keep up. I can see them. No, they just no. show's not really a comic. Thing. It's yeah. no, nah, it's they try to feed it's off. Like, off like they, yeah. they they feed off the actual films, right? Yeah. Like they need uh, they need uh, Winter Soldier to do very well, so yeah. people can keep going. Well, and that's what happened. That's when the show turned. That's when it actually right. got that's good. Everyone, everyone was checking out season one, but then after it picked up after what happened to the Winter Soldier storyline, which is basically Shield got torn apart and destroyed, and they're like now working under the shadows. It actually improved the show a lot. But there's people that checked out. <laughs> That there's something for everybody. Right. Yes. I mean, right. Like Netflix series. Yes. Yeah, the Bushmaster. Yeah, it was great representation. Yes. 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 There's something. Well, and that just and, and also with you know to close on the, the cinematic films as well that we talk about, they change the genre up. You have spy films, you have like I say Ragnarok's like a buddy cop buddy film. Cop. Uh, you have Iron Man has its style, you know, Guardians yeah. is definitely its own style. Yeah, yeah. and Space I mean opera, yeah. yeah, everything has you know, Ant Man's heist their comedic heist films. Right. So, you know, they really mix it up and, and like you said, it has something for everyone and you get to it's not monotonous. You're not just watching the same movie, different character every time. Right. Yeah. Like DC. Uh, to start our wrapping up, uh, case you didn't hear before, all of our podcasts, we end with a necessity, which is something that we strongly recommend as a nerd that you catch. Uh, Marvel related. I don't know if you guys have. Do I just go the one with that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, it's good for them because they actually haven't watched it uh, when I spoke with them. There's two animated films. Usually, Marvel's not the best with the animated films. DC is usually king on that. But Ultimate Avengers 1 and 2, especially 1, worth watching. If you watch Ultimate Avengers 1, that film, it has that Hulk scene I was talking about earlier. Exact and and well what Ant-Man in that film is the giant uh, in that film. So there's scenes where the giant like is very overconfident that he gets really, really big. I can handle the Hulk. And the things that the Hulk does, resourcefulness to him. I mean, I don't want to just one example, he chokes his Adam Apple. Yeah, Adam's apple. Wow. And then there's a bunch of other little things he does. You're like, wow. Like he just he throws him such a beating. But it literally takes the entire Avengers. And it's like the worst case scenario because they're so beat up from stopping. And it's almost like Avengers the first film, where it's a big alien race shows up and they're fighting all of them. And when they finally clean that up, they are so tired and beaten up from that. But the Hulk is now on a rampage. He can't stop. And they got to stop. And it's just something as simple as getting a syringe into him to counter. And they just, it, it takes the whole team. And he's just so, and everyone forgets that. There's still, in his subconscious, is a genius. Bruce Banner is his subconscious now, not the other way around. So he's very resourceful in a fight. He's just not super strong. He's very resourceful. So just for that alone, it's 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 worth watching. You can watch it on Amazon. Probably YouTube has it. Um, yeah, it's on Netflix. Netflix. There, on Netflix. Watch so, it legally. Uh, yeah, because yeah. there's. There's other ways to watch we it. We you have like a Fire Stick or Fire what? TV. What's that? Netflix. Knows, what? Fire Stick is Amazon. Amazon. That's it. Oh, yeah. Amazon Prime. Good. Recorder, good. Sir. I don't know what that is. Um, so we that's. Uh, thing, go ahead. Before you close up. Yes, actually, yeah. That was a good animation. I yeah, I, I watch all the animations of, of DC and I'm, I'm a superhero fiend. I just love. I'm a glutton. I watch the bad ones too. I sat all the way through Smallville. I have to yes acknowledge that. Smallville. Smallville. I'm, I'm still watching Age of the Shield. Don't do it. I do that once oh, they get their hooks in me. When it's superheroes, I rough through it. Yeah. Smallville. Will, through wait, Lana turned into a witch, and one of a sudden, that's when I was out. Yeah, I can well, watch it anymore. That's what she got. That's Fanatically correct. Uh, we we'll probably will. Uh, Aquaman. Animation. Aquaman might be good. The animation, animation stuff was good. Death, was great. I'll tell you that. That's a, a side necessity. Death of Superman just came out. Animated yeah. film. Excellent. 
Excellent. Definitely yeah. worth watching. It feeds off the Damian Wayne uh, storyline that they since Flash Paradox, uh, actually. Flash Paradox. Which Flashpoint Paradox, is, that's a great animation also. And everything All since that that's on the same storyline is incredible. And uh, yeah. last one. Yeah, they did. They did one, but it wasn't the comic book version where it kind of like resolved in the same film, and he didn't really die. He kind of hibernated, like type of thing. It wasn't that this one's actually going to go into the reign of the Superman. So they were actually preparing for that, so doing it right out of the comic books. Yeah. It's it's really good. The voice actors, and it's not Kevin Conroy, but it's uh, the same one that they've been using for the past uh, uh, six, six films. Movies. Yeah, so he's good. So. Just really quick, your take on. Not being that's not my group. We're we're doing yeah, yeah, we're ending, group. We're ending on that because that starts a really yeah, bad yeah. argument. So, but not just so you know, group didn't die in the first one. That's a whole group. Not and he died, died again, just, and now we'll have another group. Yeah. So, so, like, that's uh, us. Uh, that's us signing off. <laughs> this is Omega. Peace. Yo, peace, Peters. And there you have it, folks. This has been Fanatically Correct. Until next time, you crazy kids. Signing off. I don't want to go. I don't want to go, sir. Please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go.